things to your friends. Welcome to a new edition of the IoT Friday videos. Today we are going to talk about my favorite top three do-it-yourself platforms to develop your next prototype connected to the internet. And we are going to do it with the help of my Kickstarter lightbulb from LightFX that is awesome. So my first favorite uh, do-it-yourself platform is of course Arduino. And it's a, so for people who don't know what is Arduino, Arduino is an open hardware platform that allows you to build uh, or stack electronics and connect uh, sensors and actuators on it. And yeah, it's, so if you don't know uh, about Arduino, just Google it because it's, it's changing the world. So I like it very much and if you want to do a project, uh, you can use it if, if you want to rely on community. It's a huge community behind Arduino. Second, there, are, there is a lot of hardware available, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GSM, etc., etc., and a lot of hacks that helps you to connect anything, any sensor. If you go to SparkFun, Adafruit, etc., you can find a lot of resources to build your next prototype with Arduino. It's easy to program. It's a kind of C uh, language program that in the ID it's great and it works very well. But that said, it's not reliable. If you want to have a prototype uh, that goes to the market, Arduino is fine for prototyping, but it's not uh, perfect to go to the market. So it's probably, it works as a first step, but not for a, mm, something that can be on the market. My second favorite platform is Electric Imp. For people who don't know what is Electric Imp, Electric Imp is a really tiny computer into an SD card with Wi-Fi and a CPU and memory inside that allows you to connect uh, sensors and actuators also on, on the shield of the Electric Imp. And then uh, the good thing is that the IDE it's, on the, it's based on a web site and you can program everything on Squirrel. But yeah, they, can, uh, they, can, they are opening the IDE as well. But, the good thing is, if your project uh, is uh, you need Wi-Fi, this is uh, this is your perfect um, do-it-yourself platform, actually. So I would say, uh, if you have Wi-Fi and it's reliable, use it. The the thing, the pairing of the Wi-Fi is also awesome that these guys made. It's reliable. I had uh, Electric Teams working for weeks and with non-stable Wi-Fi's, and they work well. It's easy to program, as mentioned before. Uh, they, you have to learn a new kind. Of, yeah, you kind of need to learn a new language, programming language called Squirrel, but it's easy at the end. But the bad thing is that it needs internet. So if you if you are not connected to the internet, you cannot use it. So even you you need at least to have uh, the electric in to connect it with a Wi-Fi if you want to to use it at least once. And finally, and Maybe last week it was on the market on SparkFun. It's the Edison. We have the first uh, one of the first units of Edison, and we are testing it. And we think that it will be uh, one of the top do-it-yourself platforms very soon. And why? Because of the Intel CPU. So if you want to have a prototype or, or a product that needs a specific CPU needs, I think this is uh, one of uh, one great platform to use. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy together on the same chip and the size is very small as well. The bad things, they just launched last week, so there is not a lot of uh, electronics, uh, so you will have the, your first Edison in some weeks. It's not that easy to have it now from, for tomorrow to start your prototype. And finally, there is a lack of community uh, yet, but that said, uh, Intel is doing a lot of good job on, on documentation. So, these are the three top do-it-yourself platforms that I would like to mention from 2014. Probably next year we will do another IoT Friday mentioning new do-it-yourself platforms. But remember, if you want to do something, Arduino, Electric Imp, and Edison, they are great prototype platforms. See you at the next edition of the IoT Friday. Bye!